Welcome to Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. Today we're hitting the trail. It's the Illinois River Bluff Trail, and we're taking you guys with us. So let's go. All right, so we're just at the beginning of the trail and we see all of these lines everywhere. And they seem to be leading down to that little shack down there. This is what they are. They're actually harvesting maple syrup. This is just a little educational board that they put up, but you can see all of these different lines that run. It runs into that little shack there. That must be where they are collecting the sap. We're just at the very beginning of the trailhead. We're actually still in Camp Wakanda. Lines run all over this part of the forest to bring sap so they can get some fresh maple syrup. And you can see we've got more lines zigzagging all down the side of the hill and running right down this way. So this is definitely something interesting. I never knew that we actually harvested any amount of maple syrup in Illinois. So this is kind of a cool and neat discovery. Happened again. We're wearing the oh, same clothes. I thought we were taking a picture. I so I was staring stupidly. With a smile. Oh no. Oh. You gotta announce this better. You did that on purpose. You asked me. And what we I'm both have gray pants on. Oh, and black hats. We are out here in the woods near our hometown because all the campgrounds in the state are closed right now because of the pandemic. Still wanting to get outside and enjoy nature and we are socially distancing from everyone except each other i think everyone is starting to go a little crazy being cooped up and there's only so many hours of cnn a person can watch in a day so i'm glad that you've taken a few minutes out of your day to turn the news broadcast off and come and check out what we're up to here at lone crow adventures for lunch peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a string cheese Tupperware in the woods you know I just realized you eat a sandwich the same way I do and I always got made fun of for it what too handsome you did my sister probably my mom I don't know definitely my sister my family they make fun of me they always said like I ate a sandwich like somebody was gonna steal it from me <laughs> never because know. I mean it's a light, it's a piece of bread, right? It's not heavy. 
Most people like will eat it with like I, I like do it like chipmunks. You know where you know how you push the nut in your mouth. You know with the like like that's the way I, I eat feel the like you know if there's too much floppy on the sandwich it to hold it. You know you need not two go anywhere. thumbs to secure properly before taking a bite. Plus these are pandemic times. I mean somebody could steal that sandwich. You know you never know. Yeah. I don't know. That's like kind of some freezer burnt bread. Yeah, it is. <laughs> they might still want it. Okay, so this is the part of the trail where we have to cross the really busy highway that's behind me. So you hear some traffic noise and you'll see that there's quite a bit of traffic out here. So you actually have to go through this really super narrow viaduct that's down there. It's like, kind of a viaduct. It's like a almost like a drainage hole kind of thing. Um, so this will be interesting. There's Sarah, she's checking out the situation. Creepy, is it full of water? Light the way, Sarah. I have tried. Not getting much Oh, no, it's just kind of wet, it's not. Just a little wet. Oh, it's cold down here. Oh, it's very cold, but this would be full of water. It was it's supposed to rain. I'm trying to get through it now. This is totally creepy. Oh my gosh. You should not do this if you live through the small spaces. Wow, it's very cool. And like, what's down here? Yeah. That's what I was worried about. I thought, is there going to be skunks or... Prayers? Yeah. Oh, there's the traffic noises overhead. Subterranean. This is our first time subterranean yeah. on trail. Feel like hiking underground. <laughs> oh, Boy, a big temperature difference. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's oh. 20 degrees colder easily. Oh, there we go. Wow. Let's just, let's just look down there one more time just to. Oh, you can feel that draft. for five, five and a half miles, almost five and a half miles. We got about a mile and a half until we get to the trail end. And the weather's been great. This trail's a lot more challenging than what I thought it was gonna be. There's a lot of up and down and steep sections, really pretty. If you're in central Illinois and you're looking for a nice place to go for a day hike. That's a squirrel. <laughs> if you're in central Illinois, if you're looking for a nice place to go for a day hike, consider coming out, checking out the Illinois River Bluff Trail. It's a, it's a nice little getaway close to home. a beef dog.